Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. Today we're going to try a really fun project. We're going to try this horse here. Um, you notice it's not realistic and that's fine. If you don't happen to get the drawing perfect, no problem because it is not a realistic horse. We're using watercolor pencils. All right, let's get started. Now I am going to draw it first with a pencil. So you'll need an eraser as well. And we want to work on the basic shape of the horse. And again, if you don't get this perfect, not a big deal. It could be more of a character type of horse. All right, so the first thing I want to do is we want to create the cheekbone here. With a pencil, I want you to draw a fairly large circle. And this is the, where the cheek part is at the bottom here. All right, from there we're going to do some different um, things like the eye and stuff. So my eye is coming up here. I'm not gonna do anything in marker yet. If I follow my circle up to here, I'm gonna put my eyeball, a fairly big one, right a little bit above my circle right there. All right, and I'm going to give the eye shape on top and I'm going to just come under like this. All right, now what I wanna do from this circle is we wanna create where we're gonna come up to the back of the head to the ear. So I'm going to start from my bottom here. I'm gonna go a little bit straighter and I'm just gonna come up and kind of come in there and see what happens. The back right here meets up with the back of the ear. All right, so there's, I'm just gonna put a little mark there for a second. I'm gonna put a little hump on the head and it's going to come up and over and continue there and it's going to come down kind of like where it's coming down uh, right here all right again i don't care if this is totally perfect i'm going to do another little hump right here this is a very stylized horse all right now Right in here, I wanna kinda of create this bone that comes here. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to do just a little bit of thing around like that. And I am going to come and actually make a line here all the way up to the ear, all right? And then above here, I'm going to follow my eyelid. I'm gonna come up under here and make a shape, something like that. All right, from down here, I'm going to draw kind of down his nose. Actually, you know what? I think I want to change that a little bit. I'm going to come down more toward there. A little shape like that. <clears throat> All right, doesn't look like the horse yet, but don't worry, it will. All right, from across here, we want to determine where the other side of the eye is. So I'm just gonna make a line right there, very lightly, to show me where the, the other eye humps out a little bit. So as I come down for the other side of the face, okay, I'm coming to that hump right here, and I'm gonna go out a little bit, and then come down, all right? Now, I'm gonna go back to here. I want to come out of the bottom of my circle there. I'm going to make a little bit of where his under part of the, of the um, head is. And right now, right now I can tell I'm not quite fat enough. So I'm actually going to do that there instead and get rid of that line eventually. All right. So we come down here. We're going to continue down to his muzzle. All right, I'm going to make where the mouth is going to be, kind of squarish there. Come around, and I'm going to meet up with this arc that I did. Eh, he's not perfect, but he's close enough. I'm fine with that. All right, see where the, I did right here? That's where the other nostril is going to be. I'm going to make a shape like this for his other nostril. He's looking good so far, he's fine. His mouth is going to be a little bit open, so I'm just going to make a line there, like that. And then for some decoration or some different things I'm gonna do, I'm going to 
come out and double up this line and come into the top of his mouth. I'm also going to, from this little angle here, I'm going to come up and make a triangle that kind of follows there, same as there, and follow along the side, and then a triangle there. Like I said, this is not totally realistic. Come around his nose, and I'm going to follow up the edge of his nose here. You could put a blaze in if you wanted to. All right, so there's my basic shape of my horse. His neck is going to leave a different distance between here and here. You're going to come down and make a neck down here. And then his ears, the first ear here is just a little bit back. And give him a nice tall ear. And this one you can see this side, this is going to be the inside of the ear. This back ear is going to come out of this line that you had. Try to make it basically the same height as the other one. I'm going to curve in and I'm going to make that ear there. That's the inside. Now, I'm actually going to move to my marker for a second. I'm going to make my mane. I can do this right off the bat in marker. I'm going to come in here and just do some wavy pieces of mane coming out from the back of my horse. I'm going to do some that are coming down. So he's wavy, wavy, wavy. You can add as many as you like. All right. At this point, I am ready to actually do some of my markering. So I'm going to pause it and I'll come back and show you where I've done the black. All right. You can see where I've done my black areas. I've also added a line down here just because I wanted to. Um, I've also put an eyelid on there. We could give it eyelashes as well, and I think I'll do that. Horses actually have lovely eyelashes. All right. Now I'm going to actually add some of my lines in the background. Um, so I've done my mane here. I'm going to add other lines that are going to be different colors. So I'm just going to go around almost like a sunburst. They don't necessarily have to all be straight. And I'm going to go around my horse. This is going to be my background. Now I could even have uh, maybe a few pieces of mane down in here just for fun. I'm going to continue down here. And all I've done is I've gone around and made my background. All right, let's erase all my pencil lines and then I'll come back. All right, you could make this whatever color you want, but I am using watercolor pencils today. Um, the set I have is, is a Reeves. They're a very good set, but you can use student quality as well. The trick with watercolor pencils is to make sure you have a good enough base to start from. If you just do a little bit of a line like this, like a little color, there's not enough paint there to get any watercolor mixing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fairly heavy color of just like coloring with a pencil crayon. And you're putting down your reservoir of paint. All right. Um, I'm going to do the other ear the same. You could do them all different. This is the horse of many colors. All right. What I'm going to show you now is that how that mixes. All right. So I'm dipped, it, dipped into water. I'm taking my brush and I'm going to go into my reservoir paint and go out. And what happens is you get a dark to a light. Don't overmix it because then it just becomes one color. And the whole point of this is to get like a shadow. All right, I haven't got a lot of water on here because um, if it's too much water, you'll, it'll kind of wreck your paper. I am just using regular paper, not watercolor paper, uh, just because you may not have that at home. All right, I'm gonna show you the one I've already got ready to go just to see some of the options you can do with colors. All right, this is the one that you saw right from the beginning. Some different things. I have chosen to do my mane in green. I've chosen to do my background in blues and purples. My horse has more browns and reds, oranges, a bit of yellow. The other thing you notice 
is I didn't necessarily go right against uh, the watercolor, just against edges. Look what I've done. I've done yellow and I've done a bit of brown there. Let's see what happens when I do all this section together. So I'm going to do a bit of my orange first and it goes into my red. Never over mix. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to come into my brown. And what's happening is I'm mixing with the color I had before. Clean my brush. I'm going to come in here and go against a bit of my yellow. Clean my brush. I'm going to come down there and see what's happened. It's created this kind of nice light area. So you don't have to limit it to one color. Now I'm going to come into my red. I've got quite a bit of red on here, so I'm going to darken this up first with my water. And then I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want to get rid of my yellow too much. So I'm just going to go over my edge like that and I'm going to clean that up a bit. So the trick with that is to not over mix when you get all your colors together. So there's a way to do like three or four colors in a spot. Here we have just um, the greens, for instance. So I'm just coming down one color and I'm going to mix in my green. All right, so you have a dark to the light. Here's another spot where I've got the three colors coming across. So I'd like to start with my lighter color first. I'm going to blend that out to the edge of what my other colors are. I'm going to come in here too. So I didn't clean it, so I've got a bit of a yellow orange on there. All right, now I'm going to come up into here and start blending some of that orange in there. If you end up getting, see how I've got a very distinct line there? I'm going to come in with a clean brush and just kind of blend that together. You could use just regular watercolors as well. Watercolor pencils are a kind of fun way to learn watercolors. I'm going to blend that up into there. All right, now I have this pink that I want to do. I don't want to lose my yellow, so I'm just going to come in here and do my edge. And then I'm going to take my clean brush and I'm just going to blend that a little bit together with my yellow. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. All right, so this is a very colorful course. All right, I'm going to finish this and then I'll come back and show you the finished. All right. I finished blending my horse with all my watercolor and my water, and um, I'm quite pleased with it. It was kind of fun. Realistic? Nope. Does it matter? Nope. So use any colors you like. Like I said, you could use just watercolors, or you could either use markers, color any way you would like. All right, this has been a lot of fun. So I'd love to see some of them on Messenger, on Facebook, at Blossom or Art, and have fun with it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.